Hi guys, welcome back to FinPact. It looks like Workhorse Group is undergoing a short squeeze. Now, we don't know for certain, but that's what the charts seem to be suggesting. Workhorse Group is an American manufacturing company based in Cincinnati, Ohio, and it manufactures delivery and utility vehicles. The current price for Workhorse Group is $16.71. If we look at the charts here around the end of February, leading to beginning of March, we saw lots of short positions coming into play, causing the price to fall almost 50%. This was largely due to the failure of Workhorse Group securing the USPS contract. And as you can see, this article is dated around February 20. 23rd and it confirms they were not actually able to secure a specific key contract from the US Postal Service even though they have you know partnerships with UPS and FedEx Express and some many large names so as you can see that's what caused the large drop in the price and we started trading sideways however after it traded downwards around 10th and 11th of may we started seeing some green candlesticks come in and some bullish momentum play and this was exactly due to what we saw released on 10th of may that the workhorse group executed a strategic development agreement with jb poindexter and co subsidiary eavx to expand its product offering and jb poindexter Stone Co. is a leading provider of commercial vehicle body solutions and this can help expand Workhorse's product line and create solutions for new customer segments. So I believe this is the main reason we've seen the price uptick. However, many people are saying that a short squeeze is going on and this could be a contributing factor to the recent price rally after May 10th. This article released on Investor Place around six hours ago talks about the short interest and it says that the short interest was in the vicinity of 37 to 40%. This is really high and those benefits Bears were betting on potentially the wrong pony because we saw the price increase more than expected and those short positions may have been closed off because of this. So if we look on Fintel it says the short volume was 13%. It, this does differ to what it said in the article but um, it says that we have around 350,000 short shares available and a lot of people are no longer shorting because their positions were closed and therefore we might have seen this increase in price of around 10% up from what it was when it was trading downwards. As I showed you guys on this chart the sentiment is very bullish so we can see that we're going to the upside here now i don't know how long this will continue and i don't know how many more short positions would need to be closed for it to go even further to the upside especially because the upside was also dependent on the actual company doing well and performing well now yes there's the short squeeze scenario but that's more of a short-term thing because it's to do with trades whereas the recent earnings report for workhorse has not been very positive so let's go into that so in this quarter they've had a gross loss of 5.7 million and in 2020 for that same quarter they had a gross loss of 1.67 million which is a lot less so not only have their losses increased but also their net income so in this case their net loss has increased substantially because their net income was actually a positive in this quarter in 2020 at 4.756 million and now it is minus 120 million how do they bridge this gap they may have to take out loans to bridge this gap so that they can continue funding operations that means they could you know be racking up a lot of debt and potentially go bankrupt so let's have a look at their balance sheet to see what their situation is like so their assets as of March 31st 2021 is around 479.8 million which is a decrease from the previous year and then their liabilities are around 204 million so at least there is still a good discrepancy but that discrepancy has fallen compared to what it was between their assets and liabilities discrepancy back in 2020. All in all their asset base and their equity base has fallen and their liabilities has stayed fairly constant which is not a good sign. That's something to bear in mind. And I saw this article that kind of confirms that if they continue in this direction, they will most likely go bankrupt. So this article released today says that workhorse stock is rising, but most likely going bankrupt. And why would this be? This is because the company has not been able to secure any major deal. So, so yes, I mentioned there was a strategic partnership with JB Poindexter and Co., However, they've not been able to secure really any big deals and their failure to recruit any impressive partners has probably resulted in what looks like a potentially grim future. And also the fact that we've just seen that they're operating at a loss is not a good sign and their asset base is also depleted as well as their equity base. So despite all of these shortcomings, the bulls still believe that the company has plenty of positive catalysts. Now, I don't know how likely these are to happen because this will depend on them, you know, suddenly securing a major deal and that major deal could suddenly 
propel the stock price to increase for workhorse. Now, I don't know the credibility behind this article. It seems to be quite just a negative sentiment without too much evidence. It's just saying that they don't think that workhorse will secure many partnerships. I mean, you never know. It could. I mean, it already has some great partnerships with FedEx and USP. So I think it is highly possible for them to suddenly secure something and change the stock price direction. But until then... I don't think this short squeeze will be necessarily very long lived. But let me know what you guys think. Are you guys investing in Workhorse? I personally do not have any shares in Workhorse, but I'm quite interested to see how this plays out. And I will be keeping you guys posted on any new updates I see about the stock price and what happens with this short squeeze. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel as I post new videos every single week. And I also have a Patreon where I post all the stocks and cryptos that I buy in real time and you can speak to me one-on-one -on -one depending on the tier you select so I look forward to seeing you on my Patreon thank you guys for watching bye